What's up guys, this is Notorious Vlog. Just wanted to uh, give you another video here. Went ahead and got rid of the HK VP9. Wanted something a little bit more old school per se. Need something that's uh, a little bit different. Now the VP9 was a striker fire pistol. This one right here is a hammer fire. Double action, single action. It has a uh, steel slide, feels more robust than the uh, VP9, holds 15 round magazines, as you can see. Other than that, this is a uh, SIG P229. Uh, this gun has been around for a number of years. This one in particular was made in 2018, um, basically little brother to the p226 which is famously known for the navy seals using that particular pistol the 226 this is the little brother to the 226 this is the 229 um it feels very robust um it has the e2 grips it has a three dot sight which i'm okay with some people don't like the three dot sights i do um, other than that, um, double action, single action, hammer fire, you know what I mean? So it's definitely a, um, very, very, um, uh, robust gun. Um, it feels very good. Um, this type of frame that SIG made this gun with, um, handles 40 caliber very well. So I can imagine the recoil from the nine millimeter is pretty much um, decent. Um, talking about the VP9 compared to this, I haven't shot this yet. Uh, this will be my first time actually shooting this 229 ever. So this is my first time owning it. And when I go to the range, it's gonna be my first time shooting it. But the VP9 was a great gun, don't get me wrong. I love HK. It had a little bit of some muzzle flip and um you know the gun was um was pretty accurate i'm not gonna lie i don't have no complaints with the vp9 um i feel like i'm gonna shoot much more better with this 229 because of the frame how robust it feels um it's very old school where the uh, frame is um you know metal or whatnot and um you know, it kind of feels like a uh, nine millimeter version of my first gun. I had a Smith & Wesson police trading with uh, night sights and the gun was pretty heavy to carry. This doesn't really feel too, too heavy because um, I guess the way it's made from the slide is a little bit more heavier, I guess, to absorb the recoil. And, um, you know, with that first gun that I had was a Smith & Wesson police trading. Um, I loved it. Um, it was in 40 caliber. It absorbed the uh, 40 cal recoil. So, um, you know, with this 229, I feel like it's going to absorb the 9 millimeter recoil like nothing. I'm pretty sure of it. Other than that, guys, um, definitely um, like the way it feels. The E2 grips definitely makes the, uh, makes the grip much slimmer compared to uh, the more bulky um, grip that SIG usually has. And um, I like it. So uh, other than that, um, we'll be doing a video when I go to the range and shoot it. We'll be uh, showing my results and um, basically um, showing you how I did with it, how I shot with it. But other than that, guys, um, Definitely a nice gun, an oldie but goodie. This gun has been around for a number of years. This one in particular was made in 2018. So there you go. Other than that, um, really have no complaints. Those of you guys out there that own a 229, have any uh, likes, dislikes, um, write down in the comments below. Other than that, thank you for your time. Thank you for your watching. And you guys have a blessed one.